Hi everyone. Hi. We are Jason and Chrissy, Twin Flames and Harmonious Twin Flame Union. And uh, what we want to do today is discuss with you a little recap of our first quarter. We did a yearly reading in September, October timeframe. It's now January and we wanted to go over our first quarter and really identify how we did. It's kind of a little assessment on our card readings. Uh, we're new at this, like uh, we're still really exploring within our own experience. So just a scientific uh, exploration really of what we experienced, what we did experience, what we didn't, I thought it would be fun to share with you. So we're just gonna recap first quarter, which is October, November, and December for us. We should probably like link that video. Yeah, we'll link that video above so you can check it out if you're interested. So first quarter, uh, our synopsis was, our union is clearing old karmic debt and patterns. We truly find a new way of loving this quarter as we work through our blocks to perfect union. Chop wood and carry water. We must face our financial fears these upcoming weeks and be very honest in regards to where we are and what we need. It's through being honest that we can release all fears in our abundance flow. It's important to honor the lighter side of life and not be so serious all the time. I move through this with Matt specifically and Jason will find greater strength in his work in Divine Dish and realize all his challenges just make him stronger. Mm. And so when I reflected on this, maybe I'll go first and then, then you can go. Uh, when I reflected on this, I really thought about how Matt really uh, found a new abundant flow in the last quarter. Like there's a lot of income coming in there for us personally in regards to our work with Matt. Uh, I relax a lot into MAP, like we found an entirely new uh, service and program for mental health and wellness in MAP, which is amazing. If you haven't checked out the mind alignment process, something I'm very passionate about supporting, uh, uh, I'm the CEO of the of MAP and the founders are of Jeff and Shalia, and we work together in regards to supporting people on their mental wellness and mental health journeys. And so you can check that out in the comments below. But like we really did find a new uh, rhythm there, something really opened up, which was pretty awesome in regards to just having been chopping wood and carrying water in that space for quite a long time. Uh, I do feel a karmic lift as I start uh, my last, I have five months left on active duty in the United States Army before I retire. And uh, I really have felt a lot of lifting and a lot of uh, releasing of that energy, of that old energy and allowing it to... Um, like, you know, fade away and fall away as I enter into an entirely new life and I feel completely supported in that life. And one of the major things with our finances that we really realized is we were we were working on building a custom home for about two years and financially it just wasn't uh, a good deal. It was like, you know, if prices were really high and the economy where it was and what our income was going to be, it just felt really heavy. So we let that go and we actually and ch chose to invest into a, a home that we are actually under contract with now. And that feels so amazing and so good. And so we are still moving uh, into our good and moving to where we desire to go in Michigan. And uh, that feels amazing for us. And it just feels like we really got serious and got down into the weeds financially, looked at it from a very unbiased perspective and uh, got clear on our next steps. And it feels, it feels really good. So babe, what was your experience with our card reading? Hmm, yeah, like um, for me, it was uh, um, finding like a, a better rhythm, I think, in my purpose work. Uh, I think that's uh, a constant thing that I'm striving for is mm -hmm. to find relaxation and, and rhythm in my, in my purpose work. Like uh, purpose work is one of those things that brings up uh, yeah. things to heal uh, especially for me like we're you know with divine dish we're kind of like pioneering this um, this new way of eating or uh, not a new way of eating but eating uh, for a spiritual life you know feeding feeding yourself spiritually emotionally uh, and then physically rather than you know mm -hmm. the flip the, the flip side of, of doing that, which most people uh, feed themselves as, you know, now is like without maybe even realizing it is that like they look for the, the physical way to feed themselves and then put the emotional or spiritual uh, component oh, to yeah, that, 100%. like behind that. And uh, so at Divine Dish, this is what we're pioneering is you know, feeding yourself from a spiritual, emotional, and then a physical level. And, you know, there are, with any startup, you know, we're in our third year or so. So with any startup, 
uh, there are a significant amount of challenges and I think like a significant amount of work like to get mm -hmm. to get like a company off the ground in any field 100%. is a significant amount of work uh, these are this is like an entrepreneurial thing where um, you're gonna get uh, you know knocked down quite a bit <laughs> before you uh, succeed and that resiliency to keep getting up and keep getting up and that top wood carry putting, water energy. you know one foot in front of the other uh, and not getting discouraged and all of that stuff is um, is you know pretty important to your success and uh, uh, you know a business's success as well and so I think like that's that's pretty much like um, the you know the synopsis of, of that for me is just like uh, just relaxing into the the work ahead you mm -hmm. know we're in this for the long haul and uh, you know we're, we're doing very well and it's it's um, something that is very fulfilling and you know we'll, we'll, like we'll get there right? <laughs> we're not yeah. gonna we're not gonna quit so we will get there uh, because of that yeah, I think like it's really important to remember even when you are in harmonious twin flame union with your twin flame, there's still work to do. There's still purpose work to do. There's still things to achieve. We um this ascension journey is a holistic journey. It's about everything. It's about everything in your life, every relationship in your life, and it's choosing to go all in with every relationship in your life. And uh, I think that you're doing that, and we continue to move forward. And a great quote that we heard recently was. You know, walk in the direction of your greatest good, even if you it's, you feel bad. Walk in the direction of your greatest good and move through the feelings as they arise, as you, you walk in that anyway. direction. Do it anyways. Just do it, right? And so I think that that's really important as a lesson that you're doing and that you're really moving forward and you're doing it anyways because you know in your heart it's the right thing to do and uh, you're walking into it and as you do that, you go deeper and deeper into peace. Mm -hmm. I see that as well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's our synopsis. We are going to do some card reading. So if you want to, um, you know, just check those out. You can like, share, subscribe, and you can see some just little short readings we're going to do uh, in regards to our healing journey and share those. And those will uh, support you as well as we kind of call in the one consciousness energy. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to those. See you later. See you next time.